Hello, I'm Brian with The Tenant Company, and in the next few minutes I'll give you a brief demonstration of the Tenant T350 stand-on scrubber. The T350 is Tenant's entrance into the growing stand-on scrubber market and is available in both a 20-inch single and 24-inch dual-disc configuration. It offers many other options to help you drive efficient cleaning results. Before we jump on this, let's make sure it's ready to go. Now, in my professional opinion, scrubbers are not very effective unless you put some water in them. So let's make sure the solution tank is filled. The fill port is located here on the left-hand side of the machine. Just unscrew the cap and remove any debris found in the solution tank strainer. When filling with a hose, you can insert it into this handy-dandy retainer. It will hold most hoses in place during filling. Using quality Tenant True brushes or pads and squeegee blades in good condition helps your machine perform at its best. I mean, really, would you buy an exotic Italian sports car and put cheap, bald tires on it? That's a terrible idea. You will also want to make sure your batteries are charged. Our expert engineers, many of whom have master's degrees, tell me that battery-powered scrubbers are approximately 100% less effective with no batteries. So that's good to know. The charge level will be noted by the battery discharge indicator located here on the Pro Membrane panel and here on the Pro panel. When all the lights are illuminated, the batteries are fully charged. Once it's fully charged, go ahead and unplug the cord and wrap it around the cord hooks. Don't forget, to maximize the runtime and life of the batteries, make sure the batteries are completely charged before using the machine. With the solution tank filled and your brush or pad, squeegee, and battery inspections complete, it's time to get cleaning. Before we jump on this thing, it's essential you understand how to operate the control panels. There are two options. First, I will cover the Pro Membrane Panel. There are two buttons for down pressure and water flow. This is the down pressure button, and this one is for water flow. In both cases, all you need to do is press the button until you have reached the desired setting. The settings are indicated by the lights below each button. If you have quiet mode, it's great for cleaning sound sensitive areas like healthcare facilities or schools. Press the button and watch for the green light that shows quiet mode is active. Press it again to deactivate. Pressing this big green button raises and lowers the scrub deck. The scrub deck is on the floor when the light in the corner of the button is on. If you need to just pick up liquid, you can press the vac only button. You'll note that some function lights turn off, showing that those functions are not active. Press it again when you want to return to normal function. Up to three settings can be pre-configured to take the guesswork out of cleaning. Activate the presets by pressing the zone one, zone two, or both at the same time for the third setting. You'll see the settings change as I press these buttons. EC Water NanoClean is an innovative detergent-free technology that takes plain tap water and creates an effective cleaning agent that will revert back to water after it's recovered back into the tank. It also uses up to 70% less water, which both saves water as well as the time it takes to go back to the closet to dump and refill the machine. If you need to deactivate it on pro membrane machines, press this button until the green indicator light on the control panel goes off. Press the button again to turn EC Water Nano Clean back on. If you're cleaning a small area with tough soils, activate the severe environment function for a 30 second dose of detergent. Simply press this button. The green light blinks slowly at first, then rapidly for the last five seconds of the dose. To turn on a continuous flow of detergent, press and hold the severe environment button for two seconds until the green light turns solid. Press the severe environment button at any time to turn it off. If the indicator light is blue and blinking, the detergent tank is empty. The Pro Panel features many of the same controls, including the down pressure here, solution flow here, buttons for quiet mode, EC water, severe environment, vac only, zone settings, but this time there are four that can be named. And of course, the big green button here to start scrubbing. In addition, the Pro Panel offers a variety of additional features that can help keep operators cleaning at their optimal efficiency. The Pro Panel screen offers user logins, which can be used to customize zone settings and setting lockouts by user, as well as a host of maintenance videos to help perform common maintenance. Access them by touching the video help icon here in the lower left. Select an area of the machine to view a video or click here for a complete list. Please note that your favorite television programs are not available on this machine. Okay, 
Enough talk, let's get down to business. A great first step is to turn on the machine. You may be disappointed in the performance of the machine if you skip that step. You turn your machine on by turning the key to the on position. Next, step on the operator platform. See this green go pedal? This is an on off switch, it is not a gas pedal. It's more like the safety lever on your lawnmower handle you have to hold down to keep it running. These slow blinking lights remind you to choose your direction of travel before you step on that green go pedal. Controlling the speed of the machine is done by turning this green speed dial on the control panel. The slowest speed is an eye-watering seven feet per minute, denoted here by this turtle icon. The fastest speed, indicated by the quick and adorable rabbit, is 3.5 miles an hour. Don't worry about local dogs, you're unlikely to be mistaken for a rabbit. So, once you've selected the machine settings or chosen a zone and selected the appropriate travel speed for your environment, you're ready to go. Step on the machine, touch the big green button, wait for the scrub head to lower, and begin cleaning. When operating the machine, you will notice the machine is quick and nimble and also stable. The machine has a tight turning radius so it can clean easily even in narrow spaces or tight corners. Watch how I can clean right along these retail shelves. Maneuver around medical equipment in a hospital hallway. Navigate a congested airport waiting area. Or even clean around a cafeteria table. The machine can even fit easily into an elevator. But watch your head. When finished, just empty the recovery tank. Do your daily maintenance to help keep your machine running like a champ and also set up the next operator for success. You and I both know leaving an uncharged, dirty scrubber for the next operator may lead to some pretty nasty looks in the break room. Plus, payback is a, well, it's a thing you probably don't wanna deal with. As you can see, the Tenant T350 is just the right mixture of performance, efficiency, and operator comfort. To see how this machine can perform in your space, Contact your local tenant distributor or go to tenantcode.com to schedule a demonstration.